Chris Ballard with us, the Colts general manager. You know, one of the big storylines last year is Andrew Luck healthy. How do we know that the shoulders finally healed? There was so much misinformation from the year before. And I respect you for owning it, answering the questions, understanding that people were going to be skeptical, that the Colts were going to have to prove it, Luck was going to have to prove it, and prove it he did in a tremendous way last season. So congratulations on how that went. It's got to feel good this year to not have those questions lingering around. No, there's no doubt. To be able to go into the season knowing that, you know, Andrew's healthy, um, he's going to get his first real off season to really work, really in the last probably three where he can really just work on being a better quarterback. Right. And it's not in rehab mode. Um, but no, it, there's no question that year will build some character um, in terms of being, you know, forthright and honest. And, you know, this is where we're at. And I think it strengthens us, you know, not only the bond between me and Andrew, but Andrew and the organization. Right. I, in all honesty, I mean, because I, I know you did. You you confronted all the questions last year. Was there a moment, though, where you were like, uh-oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to play early on in the season? You you truly knew he could do it all year? Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I just had seen the process play out, um, and I just had a, a really strong belief in him. And the way he was working – the people he was working with, I had a strong conviction of, of where he was going. I knew it was going to take time. I right. mean, that, you know, everybody expected him to, you know, step in week one and be a, you know, be a Pro Bowl quarterback. And I just think when you haven't played in a year, it, it ta you need live bullets. I mean, right. you need you can practice rep all you want, but you've got to get into live bullet situations. Yeah. Um, and then he has to build confidence again. Um, and I thought just every game you'd see little – little signs of it um, and then and then it just took off so it's pretty cool to watch yeah last year I remember you telling us that you believed the Colts were two drafts away from becoming a contending team <laughs> and you were one draft off uh, how do you follow that up this year now that there are heightened expectations with the team no and and I and I've talked a lot about this you know we're no no matter what the outside world thinks we'll just we'll continue to set them in that we've set the bar really high. We do that to ourselves anyways. And, you know, we're going to create expectations that every year we've got to be able to produce in the draft. You just, I just think it's the lifeblood of an organization. Um, we have a very strict criteria of what we're looking for. Um, the character of the player, uh, it, it matters. It absolutely matters. And we'll continue down that road. I thought it was one of the great things our scouts did last year, and they did a they did a tremendous job digging into the type of people we were bringing into the building. Um, yes, they had talent, but on the flip side, they also had very strong football character. Right. I mean, they, they had a will to be great. Um, and that's one of the really neat things that you see. I mean, between Quentin, Leonard, Braden, Lewis, all of those kids, you know, they're very high character and they're all driven to be the best they can be. Yeah, I mean, Darius Leonard, talk about him. I mean, South Carolina State, did you expect him to just explode onto the scene the way he did? Well, I'd be lying if I sit here and could sit here and tell you that I thought the guy was going to be first-team All-Pro right, as a rookie right. coming from South Carolina State. Yeah. Um, but we liked him. I mean, we, our scout, you know, Jamie Moore had a very strong conviction on, on Darius. And as we started going down the process through the Senior Bowl, through interviewing, through meeting him, uh, we knew he had a chance to, he was a great fit for our scheme at the Will linebacker position. Right. And we thought he could ascend in time. Did we think in year one he would do what he, what he did? No. But as, I'll never forget sitting at the Washington game, I'm sitting next to Matt, and Matt <laughs> shoved a piece of paper in front of me. It said 19 tackles, two forced fumbles. And I said, my Lord. Yeah. I think from that moment on, I said, wow, we, we got something really special here. You talked about character of football players you're here at the scouting combine what is to you the number one indicator of character as you're trying to to weed out these 336 players to find the guys you're going to draft well it's a and, it, and it's hard uh, especially in today's day and age where uh, kids from a very young age are getting recruited offered scholarships yeah. told to the best thing since sliced bread we live in a highlight you know a highlight world where their highlight tape really matters. I think the number one, there's got to be a sense of humility to where they want to get better. They, they can take coaching, they can take criticism, and they want to get better. That's, that's, you know, you tell, you'll sit in a room with a kid, 
and you'll you'll show him things that he's doing wrong and how he reacts to it. You know, does he react defensively or does he say, you know what, those are things that I need to I need to really improve on. Right. Uh, one of the big free agents that are out there. A lot of people kind of put him Levy on Bell. Do you guys do you envision you, being in that sweepstakes you, for him? You, you understand he can't talk about players that are still under contract <laughs> Chris, with other teams. Chris, you're right? like, Chris. That's as loaded as shot is <laughs> it, it I mean is like loaded. I asked the other day. <laughs> Honest total mistake because uh, I didn't think he's third. under contract with the team, so he I didn't still, even know he, he still There goes a third round so pick because of Chris. <laughs> yeah, <Hamilton. laughs> <laughs> investigation is now. Are they, are they worth a third round pick? Um, Damn, yeah. I feel stupid now, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it would be okay if we hadn't had that conversation. Well, but we've had that conversation. Category. I didn't think no, it was like not. Antonio Brown. So, uh, okay. not, until, not until March 13th. Uh, <laughs> All right, oh, we got to. Hey, we got to go, Chris. Thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.